Hello, I'm Bonnie Boswell. From time to time, we take a look at historic and cultural sites that make LA, LA. Now, some of these places are not well known, but the Griffith Observatory, with over 1.4 million visitors a year, is not one of them. That's Neptune and Pluto's orbit right there, in fact. The observatory opened in 1935. Its donor, Colonel Griffith K. Griffith, wanted it to be free so ordinary people could see the universe and appreciate their place in it. Dr. Krupp has been the director for over 40 years. The building itself engages the public. The, these are astronomical instruments, and that's what the place really is about. It's a building filled with instruments that turn visitors into observers. And this is obviously one of the most uh, favored parts of the building. If they come here for one thing and one thing only, it's probably the view. And, and that view doesn't sound like it's astronomical, and in a direct scientific sense it isn't, but it is part of our perspective. Tell me a little bit about the building, Art Deco. The architecture here is really a mix between Greek Revival, Beaux-Arts, and Art Deco. So you have that 30s streamlined sense, but you also have this very formal Greek Revival. And then the very formal front lawn, particularly with the highly geometric character, is the Beaux-Arts element of it, too. Next, we go to a favorite site, the folk halt pendulum. Here, you can actually see the world as it turns. And it depends on the trigonometric function multiplier that gives you the actual angle. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> it does stop at night. This is actually the classiest Foucault pendulum on the planet. Next time on Bonnie Boswell Reports, we'll talk with Dr. Krupp about the possibility of life on other planets. For PBS SoCal, I'm Bonnie Boswell.